thought the wind was going to pull that roof off camp last night. Really? A gust hit that camp, and the whole camp moved. No joke. I'm puckering up laying in my bed. I'm like... <laughs> Whether you're sitting at the table with a with a CEO of a four billion dollar company, which we've done recently, or you're playing a sport, you're gonna play. You should want to play at the next level. Want to tell them what we're gonna do? We we're headed to uh, man. This new beanie we're making looks good, huh? Kind of nice. I just see the Origin Wave right here. Yeah. Man, there's a mill in Madison, Maine, which is. A paper mill. They made super calendared paper. So the mill shut down. Actually, I think I told you about this, right? Yeah. So they carved out and they sold the hydroelectric. And then they took the machinery and they sold it to a company in China. And now they put the property up for sale. Which rebuild value would probably be, I don't know, $200 million maybe. I'm going to meet with the town to see what they would sell it to Origin for. Because right now we've broken apart the company and eventually we're going to have to come back under one roof. Whether that's in a year or two years or five years, probably less than five years. Um, so we're gonna go see the space, see what it costs to, you know, maintenance cost, yearly is, heat, electric, you know, all that good stuff. And we're gonna take a tour. So you wanna blow the doors off this fool? And I think that building is all offices, that brick building That's right here is all offices. Cool. And you can see, if you look down the river, look at the old mill on the river, and then the new part of the mill to the left of that, the blue and like gray, uh, grayish white. So yeah, it's pretty freaking legit. So when Madison Paper or UPM originally owned it, um, when the president would fly, he wanted to stay at this guest house. And I mean, they used to, really take care of their employees. Oh yeah. And that's when the paper industry was just booming. Yeah. They never spent the money on upgrades on their machines. And so they're fighting these Chinese mills that, you know, you're paying your mid-level guys 50 to 60. Yeah. And, and for labor, they just cannot compete whatsoever. Yeah. I'm intimidated by much, but this is just intimidating. <laughs> this is intimidating. This is a different level. Of... This is a different level. It's it's funny because like my mind's just not there yet on something this big. But you know what? If it was wide open, empty, if everything was stripped out, then I could look at it at face value and be like, okay, now I can see. What it is. What, what do you think about that place? Oh my god! What is that, that place? Is so huge. Dude, it's. It's massive. I can't even wrap my head around it, really. You gotta be, you gotta be a billion dollar company to go in there. Yeah, you gotta be a billion. Exactly. You got it. Yeah. Hmm. It's a, you know, it's an education to look and see, and you know, you look at it, you, you, uh, you go, yeah, that's way too fucking big. It's, uh, <laughs> it's interesting to see it. <laughs> Three days off. Took three to three days off. So Your parents let you take school off this week. They told me to. That's legit. My brakes squeak and they come to a stop. I'm looking at about five does. I look and he's in the back and I didn't know it. He picks his head out. He had horns that high. Just like that. I was like, pull over, get out of my truck. I snuck up into the woods. And they all started running. So I had my gun up and I'm watching them, watching the does through my scope. And I whistled, or I, I made a noise, mm -hmm. and they all stopped. And I could not, for the life of me, find the one with horns on him. Really? I saw a decent six-pointer the other day I passed on. Maybe it's all good karma. It is. Maybe something big is going to walk out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe nothing walks out at all. Or maybe nothing at all. Maybe I'll just I'll get a doe tag in case stuff gets... Down, down. Harry gets down, yeah, <laughs> and things, in case things get hairy. 
shot enough ducks this year. I got a whole. How many did you get? Total this year. Yeah. We probably shot sixty total this year yeah. between the two of us. So that's twenty bucks, two hundred bucks in ammo, about sixty ducks. Well, I mean, you couldn't buy sixty ducks. So I I picked one and I shot and they lifted, and I watch her and mine dropped, and I watch her bang, boom, dumped it out of the sky. I'm like, what? The? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. We walked in, and there's a doe about ten yards from us, and I'm like. Don't move. I'm right in mid-step. And the thing looks at us. I'm just waiting, because then I see another deer walk out of the way, and I see another deer coming in, and I'm like, oh, that one's going to have horns. And son of a gun stepped out in the only open spot, 20 yards away. Really? Uh, and he looks, and it's a six-pointer. Standing right there, I'm like, he's to shoot it. So she pulls off, and I hear the safety click off, and he's eating. He looks up when he hears the safety click oh. off. Boom! Drops. Her dad's like, yeah, but you grab the heart so I can eat it. So we went in, going to get the heart and pulled out sausage. Yeah. <laughs> it's nothing. It's, it's, a, it's a rush you can't buy, that's for sure. Yeah. Can't buy that one in a drugstore. No. <laughs> I thought the wind was going to pull that roof off camp last night. Really? A gust hit that camp and the whole camp moved. No joke. I'm puckering up laying in my bed. I'm like... <laughs> Waiting for the roof, waiting for the roof to come off. <laughs> Close. <laughs> I'm in my skivvies. I'm gonna be running around dark. Oh man. <laughs> Building the wall. We're gonna test out the new. Uh, we're gonna test out the new <laughs> jeans. <laughs> we're gonna test out the new made in America, made in Maine, hundred percent without compromise with American grown cotton jeans. So, anyways, we're gonna build the wall. No, seriously, we need to build the wall so that we can have an art department that's quiet. I'm gonna put egg crate on this side, the foam, you know, the soundproofing, uh, so that everybody can work in harmony and peace and tranquility. And then we're gonna rewire the lights so that we can dim out this side of the room. Oh, yeah. So, but we're gonna start with building a two by six wall first, crate on this side, maybe some barn board on this side with a big ass Origin Wave logo. So I actually need your help. So if you want to put that on time lapse, we can do that. As you progress in business and get better and better, better at negotiating, better at asking questions, better at being humble, better at winning at all costs, better at team building, better at leadership. As you start to package these things, you build this mountain of confidence, not arrogance, but confidence that regardless of where you go or what you do, you can't take that away. You've leveled up.